Oh, it's going to be worthwhile. Hi, everybody. This is Ron Hatton again, a.k.a. Gadget Man, coming from my new digs out in uh, East Mesa out on Ananea Street, which is quiet, no homeowners association, and the neighbors are cool. So I get to come here and work in my garage. And as you may or may not know, uh, Gabby has appeared from Indiana with her son's truck, uh, Matt's truck. And uh, we had, uh, well, I'm going to let Gabby tell her story about the Gadget Man groove and her interactions with me and also the mileage gains and stuff along the way because she's been going a long time without really getting any substantial mileage gains. And uh, finally she comes down here and, and, well, I'll let her tell you in her own words. So, so Gabby, uh, would you care to tell us about your, uh, about your experience with Gadget Man? Uh, um, awesome. <laughs> in one word. <laughs> totally awesome. Oh, thank you. Um, we've been trying to get together uh, with Matt's truck for about a year now. <coughs> uh, I found out about him doing some kind of modification on the carburetor from a friend of mine in California. And uh, we've been regularly uh, communicating. I did send him a, a carburetor that he modified by um, cutting some grooves out in, uh, in the carburetor. Uh, but the gas mileage still wasn't up there. It wasn't that big of an increase. But how, how much was it? I think like maybe a mile, uh -huh. you know, and it, sometimes yes, sometimes no. So what, what did you start with? What do you mean? What did I start with mileage? Oh, um, 12 to 14. 12 to 14. Yeah, okay. and then after the carburetor got put in, I was getting 15 to 16. And on the average, that's where it's been holding at. Okay. So it's a 3 to 4 mile an hour, 3 to 4 mile a gallon gain. Yes. Um, more like Toward, one or two. Toward, okay. Yeah, not right. very much. More like one or two. Not none of the And, one, and um, because you, this was a, a new idea that uh, you had and mm -hmm. were pursuing mm -hmm. um, during our uh, communications, text messaging, and over the phone, um, it, it was finally decided if I could get the truck here to you in Arizona that mm -hmm. you could tweak it out because mm -hmm. uh, the help that I have. Uh, Back in Indiana, we didn't have the tools, and the know-how was too hard to explain over mm -hmm. the phone. It was something, you know, a hands-on, you just have to. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, I got here uh, yesterday afternoon, and first thing uh, that you did was to uh, uh, block off the vacuum hoses or remove them. Mm -hmm. Remove the airflow and explain to me about the pressure and everything, and mm -hmm. it's all common, logical sense. Mm -hmm. Well, you said that the power should be different. And I mean to tell you, out there, folks, I was totally blown away when I pulled out of this driveway and went to the main street out here and got on it. The power is at least a 50% increase. Wow. It's not a 100% running. I'm not talking about, I'm talking about before I got here, it, it was running. But now it runs. I, I told you, told Ron, uh, I'm going to get in trouble if I don't watch my foot on the gas pedal because it's, it's really got some punch. I mean, the power boost is amazing. Yeah. And uh, the not only that, but I took it uh, riding around uh, last night, 51-mile mm -hmm. uh, trip, and logged it, and uh, I was again blown away mm -hmm. that I went from a 15, 16 miles per gallon to 22. Wow. And uh, we did the math on that earlier. That's like a 37, 30, I think you said 37 increase, 37 percent, yeah. yeah, just by that alone. Mm -hmm. And so, um, uh, I'm back here today, and we're doing uh, continuing to do some um, uh, adjustments and tweaking mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of the uh, of the engine mm -hmm. and the, or the carburetor. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what mm -hmm. the results on that are going to be. So I, I got a question for you, Gabby. Uh, people ask me all the time the same question: Does the Gadget Man groove work? Well, uh, I say Gadget Man is grooving. <laughs> Gadget Man is grooving. He, he's 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 got he's got something. Um, I know uh, I'm an amateur when it comes to the motors and the carburetors, especially. Mm -hmm. I've been mm -hmm. getting self-educated more with the mm -hmm. principles and function of the carburetor. Right. I'm told it's like the lungs in a human mm -hmm. body, uh -huh. so mm -hmm. that's helped me get a little bit better mental picture. Mm -hmm. But um, your uh, knowledge and uh, skills and experience are are in the groove. You know what you're doing. <laughs> and uh, I called one of my sons back home last night. 
and told them about uh, trying to um, uh, improve the uh, mileage even more so, extend it even more so, about reducing the size of the uh, jet. And he was like, yep, he's on to it. He knows what he's doing. He's right there. Cool. So it's nice to, you know, meet someone, mm -hmm. you know, that at first was a total stranger. Mm -hmm. And however, you have that same common thing in mind, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. The combustible engine, mm -hmm. we're all kind of pretty mm -hmm. stuck with that for transportation. Yeah. In, uh, unless you know uh, somebody with a... Mm -hmm. uh, uh, different or better kind of engine, but <laughs> most of that's us, coming. Mo that's yeah, coming. That's yeah, coming. Yeah, we're uh, well, well, let me ask you just one one quick question sure. in closing. All right, for uh, for people out there that's running the '70s era F 150, 250, 350s, that's got carburetors on, would would you would you look right into Gadget Man Land here and tell them uh, whether they should or should not get the Gadget Man Groove? Uh, I look right in the candor and tell, camera and tell y'all out there, if you've got a Ford and it's an F series of uh, any year, mm -hmm. make or model, mm -hmm. uh, you've got to get online and type in www.gadgetman.com. <laughs> Gadgetmangroove.com, uh, darling. Thank you. Gadgetmangroove.com, <laughs> sorry. And, and uh, hook up with them, and he's more than willing for you to call, email him, pick his brain if you're working on mm -hmm. something. He's there to extend a hand and help you out. And definitely, if you've got a carburetor, you can mail in, and he'll mail it back to you to get the groove and help mm -hmm. you tweak it out the way he's doing this one. It's definitely worth your time and trouble, right. especially with the gas prices starting to climb back up yeah, there again. Right. Cleaner engine, too, by the way. The emissions, we've had it in the garage, and there's no odor coming out the emissions. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, <laughs> there's no emission <laughs> odor, and it's, it's really nice. It really yeah. is nice. You can yeah. sit and idle with your window yeah. open and don't have to worry about the wind you know, bringing in a bunch of yeah, isn't Mother Earth nice? You happy yeah, about us yeah, now? Yeah. So, all right. Well, Gabby, we we have a saying here in Gadget Man Land, and it's remember to smile for a stranger today. You've heard that before, haven't you? All right. So let's say, tell everybody out there, remember to smile for a stranger today. You ready? Tell them. Sure. Tell them. Remember, smile for a stranger today. You'll both be glad you did. You got that right. <laughs> All right, guys. Right. So, guys, remember, it's always possible to make an improvement on no matter what your life is. Start it with a smile, and if you get an idea, work it through till you're finished. Make it work because there's always a solution. God bless you all richly and warmly. Gadget Man here signing off.